Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the base panel and the context menu. Okay, so you know, the base panel is on the right here, and you have a bunch of different options. Um, however, we're only going to be talking about the select option, the draw link, and uh, add join options. Okay, so let's start with select. So with select, when you click on it, you can left click anywhere on your screen, and you can drag your canvas around, which is uh, pretty cool. And if you want to reset your view, just hit reset view up here on the top right and it resets it for you. Okay, now let's start by drawing a link. So to draw a link, you're gonna click draw a link and you're gonna left click anywhere on your screen. So let's start the origin. You're gonna drag your link out to wherever you want and uh, whenever you're satisfied, you let go and that'll be your link. Okay, now um, let's start by making a structure with, uh, uh, with three links. So to make a structure, again, uh, you're going to hit draw link. And I'm going to draw my second link um, where I'm going to start my second link where the uh, left joint of L1 is. OK, so I'm going to uh, left click here, drag, let go, left click, drag, let go. OK, and here is my um, three link structure. And a structure is different from, from a mechanism because a structure um, doesn't have any uh, moving links relative to each other. They're all stationary. Okay, so I'm gonna delete it. All right, so now um, let's try to make a four bar mechanism, okay? So a four bar mechanism um, is a very popular mechanism. Uh, most mechanisms in the world are four bar mechanisms, okay? So I'm gonna start by drawing a link. Let's say over here, I'm gonna go up. Go this way, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back down. Okay. So now I'm gonna uh, select uh, this uh, bottom left joint over here of L1, and I'm gonna click ground. Okay. And then I'm gonna click this joint, uh, the bottom joint, right joint of L3, and I'm gonna click that. Now you notice that when I do that. Um, this gray bar here pops up, this gray link, L4 pops up. And this uh, gray link is basically um, the ground link, okay? Now the ground link does not move relative to the other links. It's only there to serve as a uh, reference for the other links, basically, okay? Now you also notice here that uh, this uh, DOF here pops up. DOF stands for degree of freedom. Now degree of freedom basically um, is the number of parameters you need to fully specify or define a mechanism in space. Okay. So a degree of freedom of one means that you only need one parameter to fully specify or define uh, the location of this in space. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to click uh, this joint again, and I'm going to click add rotary actuator. And then I'm going to hit play here on the bottom. And there you have it. Congratulations, you have now made your first four bar mechanism. Okay. Now you notice that uh, you see the little blue lines here. Uh, these blue lines are basically the, um, the paths that, um, that the joints are taking. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here and uh, let's try to dissect this a little bit. So basically, as I said before, L4 is your ground link. Your L1 is your input link or your crank, which is basically the link that fully um, uh, rotates 360 degrees. Your L2 is your coupler and your L3 is your rocker. OK. All right. Uh, just one last thing. I'm going to delete this. So let's say you want to draw. Uh, let's say you want to insert a, another uh, link or joint uh, somewhere in the middle of already uh, existing link. Very simple. All you have to do is click Add Joint. I'm going to click Add Joint here, right in the middle. Click Draw Link again, and then I can draw a link up here. Okay, just like that. Or let's say you didn't want to do that. Let's say you just wanted to um, make L1 like a weird shape. Very simple. Again, you could just add a joint here, and then uh, hit Select, and basically uh, drag this up, and you can make L1 any arbitrary shape you'd like. Okay. And you can do this with, an, um, you know, an arbitrary number of uh, joints. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so in the next video, we're going to be talking more about the shapes panel and uh, other options such as, uh, you know, merge, intersection, and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here.